This is an example of a payout annuity. So unlike a savings annuity, where you deposit a regular amount every so often and wait for that to grow to a final amount at the end, with a payout annuity, you start with a lump sum and slowly take out payments over time. The remaining amount in the account earns interest while it's still sitting there, but slowly you take it out and the balance decreases over time until at the end you completely deplete the account. So here's the formula for a payout annuity. It's similar to the savings annuity formula, but it's turned around. Here, R, N, and T are just what you expect. P is the lump sum that the account holds at the beginning of this process. So P for present value, because you think about this, at the moment of retirement, the account holds a certain lump sum. And then PMT, the payment, is the regular amount that you withdraw. So in this case, we're withdrawing every month for 20 years, and the regular amount that we're gonna withdraw is $1,000. Uh, we're also given an interest rate of 6%, and N is 12 because it's monthly, T is 20 because we are doing this process for 20 years. So, to figure out how much we need in the account, that's P, so we're looking for P. To find that, we replace PMT with 1,000, and then we have 1 minus 1 plus R over N, to the negative n t. Pay attention to that negative sign and be careful when you're entering it into your calculator. Divided by r over n. So this one is similar to the savings annuity in that all we need is the formula and it's fairly straightforward, but entering it in the calculator can be tricky. So I'll illustrate that. Again, we want to take this step by step and be very careful. So I'll start with the innermost parentheses again. 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12. I want to raise this to the negative 12 times 20 power. So in parentheses, I put negative. I don't use the minus key. I use the negative button. 12 times 20. Or negative 240. That represents everything after the minus sign in the brackets. So I need one minus that answer. So one minus, I'm gonna use the answer key to get that. So that represents everything in brackets. And then I multiply this by a thousand to get the entire numerator. And then divide by, again using parentheses, 0 0.06 divided by 12. The final answer is 139,580 and 77 cents. So what that means is, if you want to take out $1,000 each month for 20 years, your account needs to hold 139581 at the moment of retirement. And that's if your account earns 6% interest. Again, you don't withdraw this entire lump sum at the moment of retirement, but instead you slowly take out payments and that account balance drops slowly, but whatever is in the account earns interest until it's withdrawn. And that's the advantage of a payout annuity.